So now we have the featherweight final here. Paulo Miao with a green and yellow belt up against Caixinho. Real name is Valdo Moisinho, but better known by his nickname Caixinho. And now two extremely pro prolific competitors in the featherweight division. And Caixinho very dramatically earned his place here in the finals by putting Marcio Andre to sleep with a loop choke from nowhere earlier today. And we picked Caixinho as one of the top four competitors in this division. Caixinho, Marcio Andre, Joao Miao and Bruno Frazato, of course. And Miao and Caixinho made it into this final here. Yeah, now Caixinho has fought the Miao several times. And... Uh, certainly knows what Miao yeah. looks for. Yeah. And is actually probably one of the few competitors out there who has actually developed something of, a, of an answer to the Miao Brothers game. Yep. Wow, that was a two points for Miao. The actual, the corner judge called it an advantage. But the center referee called it two. So Miao is up 2-0, just one minute into the competition. Yes. Paulo looking to pass. His head a little low there. Now this he gets is around. Aggressively yeah. passing from top <laughs> here, Paulo Miao. Look at that Tori Ander passing going from side to side. Yeah, nearly got by the guard. Nice move to go all the way to north south. Of course, having fought Keishinho a number of times and having lost to him once or twice. One thing that Keishinho has done very well in the contest is using the lapel to slow down Miao. And it looks right here, it looks like Miao wants none of it. Yeah, he's trying to lift up the hips, and dump Keishinho to this far side. Now he's going to try to circle around here. Now, Marcio Andre did pass the guard of Keishinho in this semi-final match before Keishinho pulled that fight-winning loop choke out yeah. of nowhere. So it's not impossible to pass his guard. And right now, Miao is actually doing a very good job of pouring on the pressure here. However, unlike Marcio Andre earlier today, who was consistently switching sides and, and changing his angle of attack, Miao seems a little bit more intent on just yeah. going the one way. Going towards his right. I'm, I'm looking for him to continue to go to the right and then switch to the left, but he's not done that yet. Nearly got around to north-south, because that's where you'd want to go. But the style of passing, the bullfight that he's using, getting around north-south is definitely where he wants to go if he's not going to switch back to the other side. There he comes. Sweep by Caixinho. That is two points there for Caixinho. It's now 2 2 on the scoreboard, just coming up to three minutes into the contest. Caixinho is going to most likely have a big step backwards if he gets that foot off the hip just to try to negate. It looks like Miao is actually looking to feed the lapel through to get like a worm guard kind of position. Mm -hmm. They have been doing that quite a bit. Let me ask it. I think Paulo's going to be able to come to the top here if he moves away just a little bit more. legs are on the inside. Now he's looking for the worm. So let's see if he feeds that lapel. Yep, he's working on it. Okay, shoes since down. Has more or less a bear trap on this far leg here. 
A oh, very difficult position to pass. Yep. Really will shuts the door completely for one side, although the natural bend of the knee will actually uh, give you the inclination to go in that direction, but Kishino just completely shut the door there for Meow's pass. Yeah, and it's even if Meow comes up to the top more with this leg position, he's going to be able to put him right back down. So, Meow 4-2. Almost at the halfway mark. But now Meow, is what, what Meow wants to do is push that top knee down. And as long as Kishu keeps that left knee open, it's going to be a problem if that leg stays in there. Meow wants to push that leg down to the mat. It'll start to alleviate some of the pressure on there. She needs to be careful with that left knee to keep it open. Perimbolo attempt from Miao. Kishino doing his best to get his knee to the mat. Yep. One of the key principles to beat in the Perimbolo. Prevents your opponent from coming around and getting the hips, but up on top now is Kishino. So it's 4 0. So, excuse me, four, four, zero advantages, but even on the scoreboard. Just coming up to four minutes remaining in this featherweight final here at the 2016 IBJJF Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. Coming to you from Irvine, California. Yeah, Miao has I think a little favorable advantage here as far as points go because he's he's going to be in the the lead if it turns into a sweeping contest as long as he as long as there are no advantage differences. Lasso on the right side here. Up. Comes up at no points, doesn't stay there. Yeah, he likes oh, bandage. Move through. Corner just says to bring it back. However, the other doesn't agree. spins under, but Kishu just negates the whole thing. His leg position is an inside leg position. Now into the 50-50. Yeah. Kishinho triangles the legs here. He's good from this position. He is He's good. From straight away feeding that lapel, or freeing the lapel, I should say, but that's two points for Miao coming up now. That's 6-4 plus one advantage. Miao in the lead. So we're gonna we're gonna yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna see somebody go for a toehold most likely, just to gain some sort of advantage. He's now Kishu, if he comes up to get his two. Now, if 
Kishi used sort of the same mentality that Pablo used. He could come up but then just roll through and stay in the 50-50, might score an advantage, and then later come back up to tie that up. But he's going to need more than a sweep to win. Let's see if he goes on. Keishinho coming up. Referee, yep, awards it to. Yep. So now, six points apiece. One advantage separates them. Paulo Miao with the advantage and the very slight lead on the scoreboard. So, what does that mean? Keishinho needs to get busy, needs to keep Miao down. Can't let him come up to get two. Certainly can't let him score more advantages, but how? How can he improve his position on the scoreboard with one minute remaining to take this match? Yeah, it's going to most likely have to be some sort of leg attack in the position that they're in. Footlock attempt or toe hold attempt because they're stuck. Oh, there's a good sweep attempt there from Miao. Miao looking to come out to the back, actually. Angles his legs around the back, but still it's the one leg in from Kishinyo. Kishinyo looking to behind him to try to see if that foot's available, but it's not. Yep, see? Oh, but oh, be careful there. Hard for it, yeah. 15 seconds left, down one advantage. It looks like this is Miao's match. 10 seconds remaining. Triangled position on there. Keishinho, three seconds left, two seconds left. Couldn't quite get the leg in nope. time. That is Paolo Miao's match. So close. So <laughs> very close. Six points each with one advantage separating them. Paolo Miao is your winner here at the 2016 Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. These guys always have the closest they contests. They do indeed. I have to say that of all the competitors in the featherweight division, the Keishinho ranks up there among the, the highest or the, among the very few who can legitimately hang in a technical toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with somebody yeah. of the caliber of Paulo Miao. Yeah. And Paulo Miao very happy, very satisfied there with his hard fought for win in the featherweight final.